Hey you two friends, I'm gonna check the shadow meter out now and um, you know, see how it works here. I got a fresh light bulb in the back here and I was playing with this a little bit and uh, one thing I found out that I think the horseshoe magnet inside is a little weak and I got these super strong magnets here and I found it works better if I stick these magnets on the outside of the, of the cabinet here they're it's they're really small little magnets let me show you what they look like well you know the magnets are the magnets are so strong they're messing up the camera they're all stuck together here. They're real small. Let's see. There's one there. But they're like super strong. So this is actually boosting the, the magnet inside a little bit. So I put it on the outside there. I might just leave it. Because, I mean, uh, there's no way I'm going to keep taking this thing apart and messing with it. But let me show you something here. Um, here's the 9 volt battery. I'm going to energize the coil with it. And here's the, uh, the 6 volt battery I got. And I'm going to energize the light bulb with that. So I'm going to lower the lights. A little spooky, huh? And uh, going to energize the light bulb. Let's see what happens here. There it is. Now, I know the shadow is off. It should be dead center. And it's off because the vein is not perfect. And there's there's no way I could there's no way I could do it. I mean, I can't straighten the vein anymore because it'll bust again. Now let me energize that coil here. It gets pretty big. <laughs> and it snaps back pretty good. I noticed that uh, the oscillations cut way down when I put the extra magnets on the outside. Without the extra magnets it oscillates a lot. Let's take these magnets off. They're hard to take off. There we go. And I'm going to try it without those magnets stuck on the outside. Well, that's not too bad. You know, I think the magnets are boosting... I think they, they're boosting the, the other magnet just stuck on the outside. See, it's actually better than what it was. Now, fortunately, I cannot get it dead center here. I think that's the best it's going to be because the more I try to and I'm too shaky it's like my hands are too shaky I can't I can't hold the vein with pliers and then try to bend it because I'm not going to break it again so it's going to have to be like it is what it is so at least it works you know that's the main thing I got something out of it and I could play with it a little bit more, like uh, in the radio. Like maybe if it deflects too much, I could uh, put like a like a shunt resistor in there. I think I'm going to do that anyway. You could put a shunt resistor. I think something like 10k or something, or maybe higher. I got to look that up because the old the 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 next generation of these Model 16s they use a shunt resistor. And that takes some of the current going into the coil, so it, it lessens the chance of the coil burning out. And then if the coil ever did, like, break, the radio would still play, because it'll go through the shunt resistor. So I may add a shunt resistor to the circuit once I put it in the radio, if, if it's, like, deflecting too much. 
Well, it is it is working. You see now it see it's it's oscillating more. Now, if I stick those magnets on the side again, you know they're hard to get. They're very strong. These are uh, I forgot what they call them, but they're real cheap nowadays. I'm gonna put these mat. Oh, bang! Went right into it. Let's see here. Look at that. See, it changed it. See, it's oscillating more. You know why? Because I, I have them, like, reversed. It's like I put, it, put them the other way, so the, the pull is the other way now. Oh, see, now they got bigger now. Well, maybe I'll just leave it alone. There you go. Taking the magnets off. I'll run it with no magnets on the side. Okay, that's going to be have to be it. That's really the best I could could get it. So um, yeah, it's, it's too bad it's not perfect, but it's never going to get perfect. It's, it's it is what it is. So that's it folks, now to put this aside and to get working on the radio, which I almost forgot I was working on radio. I spent like two weeks on this, but at least I got it working somewhat. So take it easy folks, have a great day, bye.